The Kratky hydroponic experiment you're about to see is perfectly safe and should be tried by everyone. Guten yarning, everybody. If you are new to the channel, welcome for the first time. And if you're returning, you already know we love a good experiment. And when we're inspired by other YouTube channels to try something new, to grow in a new method, well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Today's video is focused on the Kratky hydroponic method of growing vegetables. And our inspiration comes from two different YouTube channels that we absolutely love and watch all their content and can highly recommend. They are Matt Garver and Grow Something with Jeff. Both of these creators are great at what they do with hydroponics and we've seen a lot of their Kratky method videos and so we're excited and inspired by what they've done to try it out ourselves. This is our first attempt at using the Kratky method to grow anything and I think based on what we've seen on their channel it should be pretty straightforward and I'm excited to see the results. What makes the Kratky hydroponic method so unique is that it is a set it and forget it method that does not require any kind of electricity or any running water whatsoever. The term I've seen used often is an off the grid method of growing vegetables. The key elements when growing any vegetable are light, air, water, and nutrients. Some people refer to that as lawn, L-A-W-N. And in this setup, we automatically get the A, the W, and the N. And then we have this growing area already set up, already working, and so we'll have plenty of light as well. Now I'm gonna walk you through our Cracky setup, which is probably a little bit different than some of the other ones you'll find on the internet, but it should work just as effectively, especially based on what we've researched. Our supplies may be a little bit unconventional because oftentimes you would have a container that is made specifically for hydroponics, but we don't have that. We just have simply a little pot with lots of holes in the bottom and I've actually drilled a few more holes along the side and in the bottom to give room for not only drainage but also roots to develop through this pot. The other thing we have here is a wide mouth jar. Now this wide mouth jar is clear and you should know if you're growing vegetables the roots should not be exposed to the light. In fact we're going to cover the entire exterior in foil just so that we can keep that light out. If you allow a lot of light when roots are growing, what you end up with is algae. And algae consumes the oxygen in the water and also you could have bacteria and other things develop. If we can shield that, we'll prevent some of those possible root rot issues. Now the build for this setup is very simple. In fact, you only need two containers. A larger container which will hold the water and the liquid nutrients that we're going to add to feed our plants, that's the end part of lawn, the nutrients, a smaller container with an inert medium inside, often clay pellets, rock wool, or perlite. In our case, we're going to use something a little bit different. We're going to use Coco Cure, something that allows plenty of movement, plenty of air circulation inside so that the roots have no problem growing downward. We're not going to put any kind of compact material in here. We want to keep this nice and loose. Remember, it doesn't need nutrients here because it's going to be getting nutrients here in the water. And the way we're going to place it in here is very simple. We're going to have the top container containing our seedling, in this case, our Quick Star Kohlrabi, which is a 35-day kohlrabi, a very quick-growing kohlrabi, in here in our medium, and we're going to place it directly in the water. And when it's in the water, you can see it's about a half inch deep. And this is going on the recommendations of some of what we've seen in Matt Garver and Grow Something with Jeff's videos. So the Cocoa Cure will soak up some of that nutrient-dense water and the roots of this Quick Star Kohlrabi will have instant access to all the food it needs. So we've got access to water and we've got access to nutrients. Now the liquid nutrients we're going to place in here are made by Dynagro and this is a 795 liquid fertilizer. The recommendation for this fertilizer is two to three teaspoons per gallon of water in a circulating system. But since this is not a circulating system, we're going to use one teaspoon per gallon and we're going to just add it directly in to our setup. So what I need to do right now in order to get this setup going is to first separate out one of these quick star kohlrabi seedlings and place it into this container with some of the cocoa cure. 
So I'm going to get the coco cure in here. I'm going to get this separated out, get the roots nice and exposed gently, spray off the roots, and get it planted in this container. All right, the first thing I want to do is fill this smaller container up with coco cure till about this level on the brim. If you've never used coco cure before, it is the ground up husk, the outer husk of the coconut. And this is really nice in terms of water retention. It's also great because it's nice and light, gives plenty of room for those roots to stretch out, for the roots to breathe, especially early on until they make their way down into the water. And I'm gonna create a little hole here in the middle so when I'm ready to bring that transplanted kohlrabi over, it can go right in and not have to wait. We're gonna be as careful as possible now as we take out one of these kohlrabi. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take what looks to be the biggest one right here, the one that's farthest along, and separate it gently so that we can transplant it into this container. Now I'm probably going to do a little bit of damage to the roots. I'm gonna to try to be as careful as possible. You can see the roots coming right there. And then I'm gonna put as much of this medium, this growing mix, back into the container as possible. All right, and I'm going to use a spray to get the rest of the soil off here so I can be as gentle as we can be. Now I might not get everything off of here, but I'm gonna to try to clean these roots off as best I can. All right, I've sprayed this down and removed as much of the soil as I can get to. The rest of it's kind of intertwined there with the roots. I don't wanna to touch the roots too much. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna get it right into our smaller container. And you can see the hole is nice and big. And what I wanna do is I wanna keep this at a level, I would say right about here. So you can see from the side here, our stem is right above and it's just our roots going right down below into this mix. And I'm gonna add some of the Coco Cure right around it to keep it nice and straight and sturdy. Again, I'm not compacting it too much. There's no need for me to compact it too much we want the roots to have plenty of room in here to move around as we place it into our jar. All right, the next step is to add this liquid plant food, the 795 liquid fertilizer into our water, into our bigger jar. So we're gonna add one teaspoon and here we go. All right, I've stirred it up just a little bit. It's all mixed in and now it's as simple as placing our container, our smaller container, slowly into the larger container. And you'll see it settles nicely. We made sure ahead of time that the measurements would work, so it's not going to overflow or anything like that. It's going to sit right down in this container. Now before I move on to the final step, which is very simple, I'm just going to wrap this in foil again to protect the roots that are going to develop from any light. I want to point out a couple things. One, we're using the jar so that we can check in periodically and show you the root development and you'll be able to see it very easily. Two, the reason why we're able to use this system without any kind of air or circulation of water happening through here is very simple. As the water level decreases over the next couple of weeks because the plant feeds and because of dehydration, what we're going to have created is an air pocket, an air pocket that's filled with moisture and oxygen. So we're gonna have a nice damp environment in there where the roots can feed on that air. Just like we do, plants breathe. They need oxygen. So it's not just the breathing that happens, the respiration that happens up here. There's also respiration that happens in the roots. That's why plants have such a hard time in really dense clay. There's not a lot of room for the roots to breathe in addition to the challenge of digging deeply. So we're going to have an area in here of oxygen that they can breathe. And so you'll see some of the roots will be breathing that oxygen, helping the plant to grow. And some of the roots will be down here still in this nutrient dense water. Now, if we were growing something that was going to take a good bit longer, like a tomato, for example, we may have to come in and add a little bit more water and a little bit more nutrients as time goes by. But because this is such a quick growing variety and it grows about the same speed as some lettuces and even some spinach, we're gonna have to see 
And again, this is our first time, so we don't know. We're going to have to see if we actually end up having to add more of that or if it develops quickly on its own. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it in our grow tent so it has the fourth and final thing it needs, which is plenty of light. And we are for sure going to keep you updated on this experiment. We're really excited and want to say thank you one more time to Matt Garver and Grow Something with Jeff for the inspiration for this project. Quite frankly, I'm excited and I could see this as a perfect experiment for your children or anybody else. It's like I said at the beginning of the video, this is an experiment that's perfectly safe and should be tried by everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.